I'm in the process of setting up my new metal workshop. I've been busy insulating the roof. I've also broken the doorway through between the two workshops and I've started to move one or two things in. One of the first things I need to do is make a stand for my anvil. So that's what I'm going to make in this video. To start, I need to work out the height of the stand and to do that, I'll take a measurement of where my knuckles hang. Then I'll take the height of the anvil away from that and that's how high the stand needs to be. I've just been out and bought some steel and there's enough there to make a stand for my fly press as well and that will be my next project after this one. The first thing to do is cut an angle on the bottom of the legs. I'm doing that at 12 degrees. The steeper the legs, the more force they'll be able to take, but if they're too steep, then it will lose stability. You could splay the legs out, that will give it more stability, but then the anvil isn't going to work so efficiently. And I reckon 12 degrees is a good balance. I've chalked a line and that represents the height of the stand away from the edge of the bench. And I'm setting the leg at 12 degrees and then I can mark the length of the leg. I've also taken into account the thickness of the top and the feet, which will be added later. The stand will have three legs. This will make it level, stable, and it will have a smaller footprint than a stand that has four legs. I'm certainly not the best welder and I'm also out of practice, but I'm having a very difficult time with this welder at the moment. It doesn't seem to be working 100%. I am managing, it's a very cheap one and I've had it years, but I think I'm ready for something a bit better and I think I'll buy one very soon. The legs will be bolted to the concrete and that will give it some extra stability but to give it even more stability I'm going to add some stretches. To help keep the anvil quiet, one of the things I'm doing is to fill the legs with sand. This should help to deaden any ringing and apparently it's also a good idea to use oil along with the sand. And I may still do that later if needed by drilling a hole near the top, pouring the oil in and then plug in the hole. Another thing that needs addressing in the workshop is storage, so expect to see a video or two on that subject soon.
I'm using reclaimed steel to make hold down brackets and that's from a bar of an old clamp. Before I put the anvil on the stand, I'll weld some half inch bar to the corners to stop the anvil from moving around. There can only be one finish for an anvil stand and that has to be hammer finish. There's absolutely no way I'm going to lift this on my own so I've had to bring in some extra muscle. Go on then, let's go for it. Well done. Easy. I thought it was only fair to share with you how I actually did get the anvil onto the stand. Another measure to deaden any ringing is to put something between the anvil and the stand. You could use a piece of rubber, but I'm going to use silicon. I wasn't thinking there and I put far too much silicon down and made a bit of a mess. I also drilled the holes in the wrong place. I'm really not sure how I got them so far off, but I can still get the drill in to re-drill them. I will be bolting it to the floor and I'll put a bit of silicon between the feet and the concrete but I'm not going to do that yet until I've used it a few times and I know exactly where I want to position it. That sounds pretty quiet to me, I can't hear any ringing so I'm going to give that the thumbs up. That was my first project in the new workshop, it was one that really needed doing and it's great to actually have the anvil off the ground and sitting on a stand and also to be a step closer to moving into the workshop properly. Hopefully it was useful to somebody and hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.